They have been totally cut off for days after their village was devastated by flooding. For the first time since the crisis, the sun came out in this village in Pakistan, but the future of its inhabitants still looked bleak. The floods took everything from us. It has destroyed our lives, and now we have to start again from scratch, rebuild our homes. But we've received no help from the authorities. Here, many are starving, so there's a rush when a convoy of food arrives. But it's not the Pakistani government who has sent the aid, but the Jamaat-e-Islami, an Islamic fundamentalist group. The Jamaat-e-Islami is Pakistan's oldest religious party, but the group denies it's here to push any political agenda. Have you seen any government officials? There is no one from the government here. The only ones who are providing help are our Muslim brothers. But we are not here for political reasons. We're simply here to provide help. But in less than an hour, the group's charity has boosted its image among some villagers. We would like the government to help us, give us food. But we are grateful to the Jamaat e Islami for providing aid. And if one day they need our help in turn, we will be ready to sacrifice ourselves for them. In flood destroyed areas, aid provided by religious groups is greatly appreciated by those who've lost their homes and livelihoods. But it's also left many victims wondering why the government hasn't done more to provide relief.